The last time I was shopping at Dollar Tree, I was so excited to find these little candle holders. I feel like it's been forever since Dollar Tree has had these. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you want to do that at List of DIY because I post all of my Dollar Tree shopping trips. So for this project, you want to get six of the candle holders so that we can make a grouping. Now my Dollar Tree had black and they also had white. So just pick your favorite or you could always paint them later. You're going to want to grab some E6000 or some adhesive glue like Gorilla Glue. With one of your candle holders, you're going to keep that completely separate. That's going to be your bottom tier. Then you're going to create a second tier. So you're going to take one of the candle holders, add some E6000, and then you're going to take another candle holder and put it on top so that you have stacked up two candle holders. I felt like these candles really matched up nicely. I didn't feel like I needed to put anything around the edge or anything. Now for the tallest one, you're going to actually stack up three of the candle holders. You're going to start with one, add your E6000, put on the top and then put on the middle one, add some more E6000 and then put on the very top one. Let these dry completely overnight. I'm going to be adding in some candles from Ikea. I find that they have nice large candles that are really inexpensive. You could also grab candles like this at Walmart. And I think these three look great together in a grouping. So I found this really cute cutting board in the seasonal section at Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if it was Easter or spring, but it was really cute. So I'm gonna start by just flipping the cutting board to the back and I'm gonna spray paint with two coats of spray paint on the back. And you may have to do a third coat because sometimes this cork doesn't take spray paint really well. So you wanna make sure it's completely covered. Next, I'm gonna use one of my favorite products from Dollar Tree, which is the cork. They sell this over in their like wood section with all the craft items. So I wanted to add the cork to the bottom of my cutting board. So I'm just going to put it on the cork, trace around the cutting board and cut it out. This was really easy to do. Then you can just add your cork to your cutting board. I'm also going to repeat that same step by making a little strip for the top of my cutting board. I'm also gonna go around the edges with a black paint pen. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna be using some burlap ribbon that Dollar Tree just started selling this year for the top. And here's a look at my cutting board. So if you go on any high-end decor website right now, painted glass is all the rage. So I wanted to recreate some of this painted glass that I've been seeing. So I picked up a glass container at Dollar Tree that had a lid with it. Next, I grabbed a glass painting kit off of Amazon. So I picked out a green and blue that I wanted to use for this project. And I'm gonna start by painting the base one color, and then my lid is going to be a separate color. Now, one thing I learned about painting glass is that it dries really quickly. So you wanna make sure that you brush out your strokes really well so you don't have any kind of weird, you know, paint globs on your piece or anything. So make sure you brush it out really well. You also can build your color. So you can make it as deep as you want just by adding additional colors, but it's always gonna have that see-through element. So that's just kind of the look of painted glass. Most painted glass will have you bake it in a really low temperature oven for a couple of hours. So you want to make sure you do that as well. I also wanted to add a decal to this. So I'm going to use my Cricut Joy to create a simple oval cutout. If you had a sticker, you could do that as well. Or really, you could use a piece of paper and Mod Podge it on as well. So there's a lot of different options to recreate this but I'm gonna cut out the oval with my Cricut Joy. I'm gonna be using a silver vinyl and I'm gonna place it in the middle of my container. And here's a look at how the container turned out.
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.